Are there any fans of Jan out there? No kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know, it was only a few short weeks ago that we were riveted to our TV sets, watching our next performer light up the stage and capture fans across Canada, coast to coast, with her amazing talent. Of course, on this CBC TV show, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? We are thrilled, we are honored that she would take the time from her busy schedule to be with us tonight. And following her performance, we have some special presentations to make. Please be patient. And also following her performance, she's going to change into her... What color was that, Betty? Fuchsia? Chartreuse. Chartreuse Dirndl. Let's give it up for the Dirndl. And she's going to be right by the Eastside Mario stage. She will pose for photographs and sign autographs for those that would like to meet Jana up front and in person. So please, welcome back to our hometown of Woodstock, our very own Maria, accompanied by her former vocal coach, Betty Ford. Please put your hands together for Jana Polzin. to um, be here in person to actually thank each and every one of you for all of Woodstock for doing everything that you did for me and, and supporting me and through my whole journey uh, with the Maria show, the CBC show and it was just such an amazing ride and thank you for, for taking that with me you know, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. hometown when you used to just be a regular Winstonian and now all of a sudden I'm standing on stage and everyone's wearing this beautiful chartreuse color. <laughs> it's so great. Um, and you know before I go any further as well I want to introduce Betty Ford, my dear friend who agreed to accompany me tonight. Thank you. All right so um, 
I thought I'd tell you a little bit, you know, what it's like to be backstage behind in a reality show. Um, it's crazy, first of all, I'll tell you that much. And uh, my mom said to me, she's going to hate me for saying this, before I started, she said, don't pick your nose on camera and make sure you know your cow history, she says to me. You know, in case they ask me about, about the snow countess and all that fun stuff. And uh, so, you know, so we're preparing to do the first show, and I just heard my sister laugh. Um, we're preparing to do the first show, and uh, the next song I'm, I'm going to do uh, tonight is uh, the first song that I did in my first solo. And I don't know if anyone remembers, I was wearing this beautiful, long, satiny gown with a big train, and I had these gorgeous heels on, and I was walking down the, the big staircase, and, uh, you know, on top of, of being a performer, thinking about the words, and thinking about how to sing it vocally and technically, and thinking about the intention of the song, there was also this little voice in the back of my head the whole time saying, don't trip on your train, don't roll over on your heels, and don't, for the love of everything, fall down the stairs, because I tell you, I was having nightmares every night leading up to that show that I was just going to tumble the whole way down. <laughs> just cares for me my baby don't care for cars and races no my baby don't care for high places Liz Taylor is not his style and even Lana Turner's smile Right. Um, okay, so I started out as this ridiculously shy teenager, um, 